Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's going to be a pretty simple tutorial. And it's just going to be how to put a watermark on your edit. So if you don't know what a watermark is, it's basically like text that shows that the edit is yours. So that people don't steal your edit. So you could just put like your username if you're posting it on Instagram. Or you could just put your name or I'm just going to be putting my YouTube channel. So... Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Oh. Okay, so you're going to want to head in your file. So I'm just going to do this one right here. And you're going to click new. Multi-layer. And you're going to click the square that has the one in it. And then you're going to click your edit or whatever you have. And now you're going to just click to the side so that that list goes away. Next, you're going to click on the two square right next to the one. And you're actually going to click on text right up here. So now you can, you can click the backspace button and you can type in whatever you want. I'm just going to do my YouTube channel name which is Laura, oops, which is Laura James, so I'm just going to do that. And once you have whatever you want typed in, you want to click done. Oh, also guys, if you want to change the font, I'll show you how to do that if you stick until the end of the video. So now you have your text right there, and you can pinch your text with both of your fingers to select the size that you want your text to be you can either do it right here or you can click on your two box you can click on edit keyframes and you can select the size right here and you can scroll this to select your size so i'm just going to do this and if you want to tilt it, you can use this, but I would just make sure that it's straight and the number right here says zero. And now you can choose where you want your watermark to be. So I'm just going to move it right here. And once you have that, you can click back. And now you can click on color right here. And click on this one right here. So the second one, you want to click on that one. And what this is going to do is it's going to fade your watermark. So it's not white, but it's somewhat see-through. So I'm just going to do it right here, a little lower than halfway. And now you can just play your edit and see how it is. Oh. Okay, once you have that, you can click create in your top right hand corner. And again, you can preview it. And once you're done with that, you can click done. So yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for sticking around till the end. And now I'm going to show you how you can change the font of your text. Okay, so once you're here and you click on the two box and you click text, you have your words right here. You have your word or whatever you want to put. Once you have that, then you wanna click on this T right here. And you can select font and you can go to any one of these fonts. Unfortunately, some of them you do have to pay for, but I just stuck with one of the free ones and yeah. You can also select your color, but obviously you wanna make sure that your color is on white. And you can obviously do all these other things right here, but for now, I'm just gonna do that. And once you have your font, you can click done. So that's just how you choose your font and all those other things. So thank you guys for watching so much. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. And make sure to comment with some tutorials you want to know how to do and see. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.